Today we meet 57-year-old Daytonian Sheila. She has been unemployed since July this year and has relied on the Food Bank Inc. and other partner agencies to help with hunger in her household. She shares with me how the impact of being unemployed and increased economic rates has brought her here. Tell me your name and how long you've lived in Dayton. My name is Sheila and I've been in Dayton off and on all my life. And how did you get to the food bank today? I used a friend's car, actually my son-in-law's car to get here. And then how did you ever hear about the food bank? Word of mouth, Word of mouth. advertising, job center, things like that. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself and your family life? Um, yes, ma'am. I'm 57 years old. I just recently got custody of my grandbabies, which is really, really what brought me here. The holidays, you know, times is hard. I'm off work on a... Um, a work-related head injury, so I haven't been to work since July, and things is, you know, it's really tight, it's really hard, so I knew that I could get some help here, so that's why I came. And what kind of struggles besides employment, because you mentioned that um, to me earlier, saying that you're coming back from an injury, so what kind of struggles are you currently facing when it comes to food? Like, for example, is it, you know, limited access? Is it the high prices? Is it being on a, you know, a budgeted income? High prices, being on a strict budget, and having my grandbabies. So that's like five extra mouths that I have to feed now. And how long did it take for you to actually get custody of your grandbabies? It's been an off and on process. I've had custody of them since 2014, but I didn't need the help because of my job. You know, I make pretty good money. But then, like I said, once I got injured at work, they're fighting it, you know, they don't, they're not trying to help me or anything like that, so I haven't had an income since July the 20th. And then not having an income and then having these five individuals come into your household, I'm sure that that's going to probably affect living arrangements, yes, ma'am. utility increases, yes, ma'am. and so... Hygiene products, groceries, this, that, my grandson, the oldest is 16 in high school, so imagine his appetite, you know, they're 16, 12, 11 and then two, three years old. <laughs> so now you have to worry about school and transportation Getting to him there. You know, now extra gas money. Everything is extra. I don't, I don't, I'm not complaining, but the this is life, and life happens. So, yes, okay. ma'am. Yeah. What is some of your favorite foods, or what is one of the favorite things that you get from this agency specifically? Fruit, the fruit, the vegetables. Now they're giving out snacks, so that's a good thing for the kids to kind of curb their hunger, you know, to where they won't. You know, real food, they can have something that they can snack and munch on. But I love coming here. I do. What do you think the best part of the drive through experience is, and is there anything that we could do to maybe make it better? It's convenient, and the fact that you don't have to stand out in the cold. That's the most important part, because you got a lot of elderly people and stuff like that who can't be out in the cold weather like that. So I think it's nice. All right. Actually, the only thing that I've seen that I experienced today was the traffic. I know in the past that they've had like a security person out there, you know, monitoring the traffic and stuff like that, but she wasn't out there today. So it was like a little confusion out there. But, you know, like I'm telling people, like, what do you do? We can't sit here and block. Right. You can't. Right. So maybe trying to figure out a way to better route people in yes, ma'am. and out would be yes, better. Yes, ma'am, for sure. And I think all those changes will ch- are going to come because, you know, we're getting ready to build a new building, so this will widen out and be more space for the warehouse for us to have mm-hmm. more products and be able to provide for more partner agencies and neighbors. But I think once the we setup up, is perfect, though. I think once we get that new building, it'll change the whole trajectory of that traffic experience. That's my hopes, anyway. What advice would you give someone considering someone who wants to come down and utilize the food bank for some resources? What advice would you give them? Don't be ashamed because we all here for the same reason. Don't let your pride stand in the way of you getting help, you know, because like somebody like me who used to work in all their life and then you have to resort, you know, to a pantry or reaching out to resources, getting help. Closed mouth don't get fed. I love that. And is there anything else that you would like to share? I appreciate y'all. Y'all are blessing. Well, I really appreciate you so yes, much ma'am. and thank you. Yes, ma'am. This holiday season, you can make a difference for our hungry neighbors. Your donation will put food on Sheila's table and on the tables of thousands of other local hungry families. To learn more, please visit thefoodbankdayton.org and click on the donate button. For the Food Bank Inc., I'm Mary Evans.